the brand new NOAA facility for the NOAA Aircraft Operations Center. Yes, sir. Welcome, Brooks. I'm glad Thank to have you. you here. We'll get inside. Yeah, so this was built for us in 2017, uh, and we actually just expanded next door um, a, a new, new facility for our light aircraft. So uh, all of our aircraft are based here. So we've got our three Hurricane Hunters, so the two P3s and the Gulfstream 4 jet. And then we have our light aircraft that do the bulk of our missions here, which not as many people know about, but we've got four Twin Otters and two King Airs. Uh, so we did the expansion because in a couple of years we're looking to get a new G550 and we just wanted to keep our heavy aircraft with enough wow. space in this new hang or the hangar that was built for us in 2017 and with the one that we just upgraded or, or finished upgrading in 2021 we'll have all our light aircraft supported out of there. So you got everybody in one house essentially. Yeah and it's been great being here the the Lakeland Airport has has been wonderful you know accommodating for us. This and is a big upgrade because before you were at McDill Air Force Base in South Tampa and it was at historic Hangar 5, historic going back to Strategic Air Command, a lot of history, but everything for you guys was spread out in different locations. So here it's all in one spot, right? Yep. Uh, we just walked past our sheet metal shop. They they do wow. all of the, the fairings for all the instruments and other things we have. And what we do is, um, so we've got the sheet metal shop there. We've got our our project test sections here. Before, that was spread over a couple of different buildings. Uh, so now, the engineers can come up and talk to each other, and then they can walk right out onto the hangar floor right here uh, and be able to get right to the aircraft. Let's go. Yeah, what we'll we head out to yeah. the hangar here, and this is the large aircraft hangar. So as you see, it's it's large. When it was this built, huge. Uh, wow. it was made so that we would be able to have all nine of our aircraft here. So yeah. to fit nine airplanes in this space really illustrates how big this is. Yeah, it's it's a great space for us. Gulfstream 550 is going to be a huge upgrade. It is. So instead of 41 to 45,000 feet, we're going to be able to go to 51,000 feet. And so that's a whole nother layer of the upper atmosphere that hasn't really been as studied as much. Okay, Brooks, come with me and we'll see here NOAA 42 or Kermit is out here on the ramp. We're doing some engine work, so it's good. it'll get loud here in a little bit. Now, Let's talk there. about the nicknames real quick. So, so the call sign for this is NOAA 42, but, but you call it Kermit. How did it get that nickname? Well, it started with NOAA 43, Miss Piggy, because um, there was a maintainer who was here, and it was not really kept up to his standards. Uh, so he was trying to rebrand and, and get it back in the, in the late 80s, early 90s. So he's painted the throttle levers pink, you know, start, it was already got the name the pig. He was saying, okay, who's a really neat pig? Miss Piggy. So as the Muppets, we, st we named that one. And then we talked with the uh, uh, Jim Henson Corporation, and they were kind enough to draw some decals on the side, sort of like your World War II nose art. Oh, yes. So we have Miss Piggy as aeronautical but nice, and then Kermit, who is <laughs> Storm Hopper. So you're preparing right now, getting some engine calibrations happening and, and just making sure it's like yep. a big tune-up to get ready for the season. That's right. So, you know, we're taking care of our aircraft here uh, to get ready for the season. We've got some other science missions that will fly uh, before we start hurricane season on June 1st, and then we'll be here ready to go. For me, this is a bit of a reunion because NOAA 42 is the one I got to fly on going into Hurricane Sandy back in 2012, and I haven't seen it in the flesh since. Oh, I'm really excited awesome. to get a little bit closer and check it out. All right, well, let's do that. I had the chance to fly with the NOAA Hurricane Hunters on this actual airplane. This is a P-3 Orion back in 2012 into Hurricane Sandy. And much like a World War II ace listing the kills onto the side of the plane, they've listed the hurricanes they've flown into and I found mine right here. There it is, Hurricane Sandy in 2012. Let me tell you, it was a bumpy ride. The best way to describe it is to pretend you're on a school bus, in the back of the school bus, you know, the bumpy part on a dirt road going 100 miles an hour for 10 hours straight. That was Hurricane Sandy. Quite a storm, quite an experience, and a reminder that not only are they doing incredible research and incredible investigation into these storms, but it takes a lot of guts and a lot of dedication to get it done right.